Disgraced South Carolina attorney Alec Murdahl is and his lawyers are preparing to ask a judge to throw out his murder conviction and life sentence for killing his wife and son in their Colleton County home back in 2021. The hearing actually is, takes will take place over about three days. During a pretrial hearing, a judge ruled several items against the defense. It's going to make it much harder for Murdahl to get that new trial. Um, one thing that they ruled is that the level of proof that the that the defense has to show, they have to actually prove that the influence of Colleton County clerk Becky Hill made them decide to vote guilty instead of not guilty, instead of what the defense wanted, which was just simply that her influence on them was what ended up you know, that she simply had influence on them, not that she made them change their mind, maybe a subtle influence on them. And not. Uh, I have set an evidentiary hearing. Another blow against the defense was they just they wanted to call people other than the jurors and the clerk court, Becky Hill. But Judge Jean Toll ruled that they can't call prosecutors or state investigators or even the trial judge Clifton Newman. The defense wanted to show that Becky Hill made statements to him showing that she thought Murdaugh was guilty, but that evidence won't be able to be placed into the record. Even if Murdaugh gets a new trial on the murder charges, he won't walk out of prison. He's serving more than 20 years on a two dozen different um, fraud charges, stealing from clients, things of that nature, and he pleaded guilty to those charges. This may be one of the last times we see Murdaugh in a true traditional kind of courtroom format. I mean, where you know, where there's witnesses testifying and things. The chances of, of, of us seeing him outside of prison again become slimmer and slimmer. He has plenty of appeals left, but those are gonna be like in Supreme Courts and places where you don't see as much traditional courtroom action.